In the last video, we discussed about how to import data from an Excel file into a Blue Prism collection. Now let's see how to write the data back from the collection into an Excel file. We have the grades calculated and stored in the grade column of the student's collection. Let's write this entire data, including the grades, back to the original Excel file. In order to do that, first delete this link and move the end stage further up to make some space. Then we will place an action stage, double click, name it as Write Collection, select MS Excel VBO, and select the action Write Collection. We have six inputs here. I'll drag and drop a handle, workbook name, and for collection, you need to specify from which collection you want to write to Excel. That will be the student's collection. Then mention the sheet name to which you want to write the data, which will be sheet 1. The cell reference is basically the starting cell from where you want Blue Prism to write the data. And include column names will tell Blue Prism if the column names of the collection have to be included or not. So you can either give the cell reference as A1 and set the include column names to be true so that the column headings are also included or you can set the cell reference as A2 and set the include column names as false so that only the data is copied and the column headings are ignored. I'm sure you may ask me if I go with option 1 and replace the Excel column headings with the collection column headings, will it mess up with my Excel formatting? The answer is no. Blue Prism will only paste the values and will not make any changes to the formatting. So you can use option 1 or option 2 and the result will be the same. I'll go with option 1 mentioning the cell reference as A1 and set the include column names as true. Then I'll go to the outputs and there are no outputs so I'll click OK. Next we need to save the Excel file. So I'll add an action stage, double click. Name it as Save Workbook. Select MX, MS Excel VBO and uh, select the action Save Current Workbook. And this doesn't have any inputs or outputs. So we can click OK. Next, we need to close the Excel file. So place one more action stage. Double click. Name it as Close Workbook. Select MS Excel VBO as the business object and uh, select the action Close Current Workbook. I'll input the handle and there are no outputs. Click OK. Link these stages and we are ready. Before I run the process, I will remove this Show Workbook stage because we really don't need it. I'll then join these two stages as we had originally. Now I'll click refresh and run. All right, the process is completed and if I open the Excel file, I see the grade column is filled. Now let's see how to create an Excel file using the action stage and then write the collection to that new Excel file. First I will delete this link between loop end and the write collection. Then move all these stages to the right a little bit. Now we can either create a new Excel instance and use that instance to create a new workbook but we really don't need two instances. It's only going to take more memory. So we can close the first workbook and use the same instance and handle to create a new workbook. I'll place a new action stage and name it as Close Students Workbook. Select the business object MS Excel VBO and this time we will use the action Close Workbook instead of the Close Current Workbook. Now we have three inputs handle, workbook name, and for save data, I'll enter false because we are not making any changes to the original workbook. 
There's nothing in the output, so I'll click OK. Then I'll add the next action stage to create a new workbook. I'll name it as Output Workbook. Select MS Excel VBA and select the action Create Workbook. Now we will use the same handle because anyway the student's Excel would have been closed by the time the process reaches this stage. And then when I go to the Outputs tab, I need to specify the data item to which the new workbook name has to be saved. You might be wondering, we didn't even specify a name for the new workbook, so what name is this? This is not the name we specify, this is the default name that gets assigned automatically when a new workbook is created. The default name is, is usually a book one, which is exactly the same name that is given when you launch Excel to create a new file. So I'll enter the name for this new data item as new file and uh, click this button to create it. I'll drag this data item to the right. Next, I need to create a worksheet within this workbook. So I will add an action stage, double click, Name it as Add Worksheet. Select MS Excel VBO and uh, select the action Create Worksheet. I'll drag and drop the handle for the handle and for the workbook name we need to pick the new data item which we just created which is new file. Then give any name for the worksheet. I will give it as Output Sheet. And if I go to Outputs there is nothing here. So I'll click OK. Now we have created the workbook and created a worksheet within the workbook. The next step is to write the collection to this new workbook. So I'll add an action stage, name it as Write Collection, select MS Excel VBO and uh, select the action Write Collection. I'll drag and drop the handle, workbook name, collection and for the worksheet name I'll type output sheet which is exactly what I mentioned when creating the previous stage. The cell reference will be A1 and include column names will be true. That is it. We don't have anything in the outputs. I'll go ahead and click OK. Then the next stage is to save the file. So I'll add an action stage. Name it as save workbook select MS Excel VBO and this time I'll select the action save workbook as. If I select the save current workbook like what we did the last time, Blue Prism will save the Excel file with the default name which is book1.xlsx but I want to name this file as output file.xlsx so I'm going to use the action save workbook as and this will allow me to save the file with the name that I want. I'll drag and drop the handle, then the workbook name which is the new file and then here in the file name I'll mention the new file name with the complete path. I want to save the new file in this folder so I'll click the address bar, copy the path and paste it in here. Then I'll add a backslash and type the new file name which will be output file dot Excel SX. I'll then wrap this entire line inside double quotes. And when I go to output, I see an output called new workbook name. This will allow us to store the new workbook name so that we can use it in the later stages if we need. If you don't need it, you can leave it blank. But I'll create a new data item called updated new file and click this button so a new data item is created. Then click OK and I see this data item. I'll just move it to the right. Finally we need to close this workbook so instead of creating a new action stage I'll simply reuse uh, this stage which we previously created. Then join the close workbook to the end and we are ready to run. I'll click refresh and run. Uh, 
Okay, now the process is completed and if I go to this folder, I can see this file called output file. And when I open it, I can see this sheet called output sheet and all the data.